thing you're going to do is just turn it on and you're going to hold down the F11 button. That's F as in Frank 11. As you can see that right here, right above the, uh, the zero button. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And you want to make sure you have it plugged in to the power wall outlet um, or it will not work. And I'm going to hold down the F11. And if that doesn't work, you can start tapping it. But as you can see here, you're going to see the little thing that says, please wait. And it takes about 30 minutes to do it. Now, we'll let you know if you do get hung on this and it takes forever to get to your factory restore. Um, and it'll, a lot of times it'll sit there under recovery and the wheel will just continue to spin. If it does that for 20 minutes to an hour, uh, one reason is is because um, uh, basically your hard drive's bad. And I don't know if you can hear, but this one's bad, going bad. You can hear like a grinding sound. So I don't know if it picks that up. If that's the case, then unfortunately, you're going to have to do a lot more. You're going to have to disassemble it, which I did make a video about how to do that. I can put a link on here. Um, and then you're going to need to and then you're going to need to um, put a new hard drive in there or a used one that's good. And then um, you're going to need to reinstall Windows 8 or Windows 10. And you're going to need your you're going to need your uh, you know your product key number for Windows 8 or Windows 10. And that's in grade, that's embedded into the motherboard as far as a code. Um, and it takes a few steps to do that. Um, and there's a lot of stuff on the internet where you can find out how to do it. Ideally, if you still got your receipt and all that stuff, if you can contact HP and they can walk you through it, give you a disk and maybe a key to it. But um, it it's not as easy as it used to be when you had like Windows uh, Vista or Windows 7. All right, so mine is, is hung on the blue here, which probably means my hard drive's going bad. But these this is for people that just want to that just want to restore it. So I'm going to go to the next screen here real quick and we'll show you how to do a full factory restore. Well here we go. Choose your keyboard layout. Uh, I'm in the US so I'll include US. And you got three options. Exit and continue to Windows 8.1. No. Troubleshoot. Yes. And then turn off your PC. Refresh or reset your PC or, or use advanced options. We want to choose that. and refresh your PC if it's not running well reset your PC if you want to remove all your files you can reset your PC completely that's what we're going to do or backup or recover uh, unfortunately you want to do this at the beginning when you first purchase it you want to back it up to about a 16 gig USB drive if your hard drive is good I would um, go ahead and do this or just do your reinstall but go back to this after you do your factory install and do this. That way, if you have to replace your hard drive later on, or you want to upgrade it to an SSD drive that are quicker, then um, you can do that. You'll just basically take your USB drive, put it in there, and load it. Uh, and that way, you'll have your operate system. Um, you can only do it one time, and HP gives you that option. But we'll go ahead and do reset the PC. And again, I can hear my hard drive grinding. And this 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 laptop's not that old. Choose an operating system. This was 8.1. And it's going to hang on here on this blue here for a while. And then I'll show you the next step. Okay, next it's getting it's going to reset your PC. And with my particular one, this particular model, it's going to hang here for 30 minutes and never go to the next screen, which means your hard drive is bad. Okay, next it's going to go to reset your PC. Here's what will happen. All your personal files and apps will be removed. All updates installed on your PC will be removed. Your PC settings will be changed back to their defaults. And then it's going to take you to this screen right here. Reset your PC. And you've got two choices. Um, the first one is just remove my files and the last one is fully clean the drive. 
Uh, the first one is going to basically make it to where it will remove your pictures and photos and stuff like that. And the second one will remove everything, pictures, photos, but will also remove all your updates, just like it back to Factory Restore. So you can choose what you want to do with that. And then finally it's going to see, say reset your computer. Here's what will happen. All your personal files will be removed and your PC settings will be changed back to defaults. Just click next and it'll do everything else for you. It'll restart several times. Just let it do its thing for about 45 minutes. Alright, thank you for watching.